All right, guys, so I know I clowned around before and I was like, I'm going to do a summoning video and say, oh, my God, must watch 10 SSR multi summon. But listen, I have to make this video because I get comments, tweets, messages all the time. People asking me the same question. Truth, I'm free to play. Is it worth it to summon on the Elder Kai banner? My answer is F. Yes, it is. Honestly, in my opinion, there is no better usage of your stones in this game than summoning on the Elder Kai banner. Because most of us always consider it a steal when there's two Elder Kais on a banner for 50 stones. Like, we consider that really good. So, being able to get an Elder Kai basically for five stones, because you're getting ten for five stones each right here, is just absolutely tremendous. A must summon. You cannot let this pass by. Now, a lot of you guys probably maybe don't have stones, aren't ready, but we were given advance notice that there was going to be an Elder Kai banner. In the future, guys, you must save stones. If, you, if we know there's an Elder Kai banner coming, you must save stones for that and do not touch them no matter what i don't give a fuck what awesome new unit is out these banners are essential to having a good dokkan account because with this you are getting a unit from sa1 to sa10 and you still have one elder kai left over i cannot stress enough how important it is to do this so again i'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys probably use you know all of your stones on you know, not only Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but also on Omega Shenron. I understand. But listen, in the future, there are going to be more of these Elder Kai banners, I guarantee you. And when these Elder Kai banners are announced, I'm going to be very, like, I'm going to be screaming at the top of my lungs, like, across canyons and caverns to let everyone know. Make sure... No matter what hype unit is about to drop in the future, you know, uh, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan Goku times three doesn't matter if he's about to drop. You know, Super Saiyan Blue Khalifa is coming out this Saturday, but on Sunday, Elder Kai Banner drops. I don't give a fuck. The Elder Kai Banner is what you must summon on. I will always tell you guys from now on again. This banner is that important. So, in the future, if you ever ask me the question, oh, we're going to get a screen character here. And it is. Oh, bye, guys. My favorite is Yamano Frieza. And it always will be. I know that that's not exactly what he says, but whatever. Don't at me on that. But anyway, if you guys ever ask me again, should I summon on the Elder Kai banner? My answer will be fuck yes. Make sure you summon on that immediately. So, guys, there is still, I believe. Is it one or two days left with these banners are available? In that time, try and summon on them if possible. Don't let these banners pass you by. All of these delicious, delicious Elder Kais. Uh, oh, Super Saiyan 3. Hey, we're getting a lot of animations today. Uh, I'll tell you guys right now, with these Elder Kais, uh, I will be getting my Omega Shenron and my Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta over here on Global 2 SA10. Uh, on JP, I don't have Omega Shenron. Those I'm going to be using on LR Goku, actually. And then when I get the 10 Elder Kais back on September 4th, to be honest, I might actually use them on the physical ceiling Super Saiyan Gotenks. Uh, a little bit of an odd choice, I'm sure, but I do think that's the unit I'm going to be focusing on. So that'll do it for today. You know, you guys just had a pretty lit video. We just pulled... 30 SSRs in this video. We're still under five minutes and we pulled 30 fucking SSRs. I, I, might, I might title the video that. 30 SSRs pulled in under five minutes. At me, Dokkan community. At me on that one.